What if I told you there exists a free-to-play game that lets you customize a robot extensively, even using user-made custom skins that are free of charge, coupled with pretty fun PvP and performance requirement that many people in less well-off countries can afford playing in, only to be ruined by questionable decisions and long grinding time for those who don't intend on buying premium currency. That game, my dear viewer, is Cosmic Break Universal. Before Cosmic Break Universal was released on Steam in January 2021, it was originally released as Cosmic Break back in 2008 in Japan, which in turn is actually a sequel to an even older game called C21. Now there are vets of this game that even played since Cosmic Break was even released, but I'm not that. I just happened to have found this game a year ago because a friend of mine played it on Steam and I decided to give it a try. To keep things short, dear viewer, if you're not someone who's willing to shill out money or grind extensively, this is not a game I can recommend. Although I'd love to see more players in this game. Still, if you're one of those people who enjoy waifu bots and perhaps fond of making your own custom skins, or enjoy grinding like a roomscape player, this game is for you. Oh, and there's only Japanese and American servers. So unless you live near those two countries, you might be a bit too laggy to enjoy playing the game. The plot is simple. You're one of the heroes in the setting who resides in the cosmic arc, trying to stop chaos from destroying the entire galaxy or something. In the process, you get to choose which union to join. The DOS, led by Draken, BRD, led by Leos, and Wiz, led by Icy. Oh, right. If you want union-exclusive bots, you must join the union beforehand. If you just want to passively collect more union coins without fighting epoch or union arc wars between factions, just join the union with the most members. Despite the presence of additional lore in missions and chaos events, I'm still not sure on what exactly is going on in the game. All the messed up things on our counters that I've done is a big contributor to my doubts. But that's the gist of the plot and it takes a backseat to the gameplay. One major problem that this game has is how steep the learning curve is, since most of the power that a robot has in this game is derived from a tuning mechanic. For those of you who will probably never play this game, tuning is a system where you fill an empty slot within a piece of equipment or limb in order to optimize and increase a bot's overall stats, whether it be damage, hit points, toughness or mobility. The system sounds reasonable. You spend resources in order to add these tunes. The part where it gets ridiculous is that there's a chance it can fail. And back then in old Cosmic Break, failing a tune means the empty slot is now permanently damaged and cannot be used again. The chance of the tune succeeding can range from 100% for some like Eternal Tunes and 50% for ones like Great Grapple. The player can increase the chance of a tune's success by purchasing Cosmo harmonics. To give a good comparison, one can earn 2000 UC reliably by completing a mission where one slays a being called Haku. And this 20% Cosmo harmonic is worth 4 of these missions. To further give perspective on why this becomes a problem is that a single robot can have more than 15 slots to tune. Now. Say that you're done with tuning an entire robot. All is good, yes? What if... After trying it out in combat versus other players, it was unsatisfactory? You're going to have to purchase these Cosmo Regrets from the in-game shop. If you want your resources refunded from the tune, you're going to have to pay real money for this. The grind for resources can be rather mind-numbing as well. In order to earn one of the more decent free-to-play weapons in this game, one would have to go through a boss-killing mission at least 48 times. If your equipment is not that good, this can take longer than 10 minutes per mission. Now, the mission itself is not hard, but it is pretty mind-numbing to kill the same thing for that amount of time. If you want to make the boss mission easier, you're going to have to collect quest coins by killing enough creatures in a planet called Arcantus, or ask someone to help you out in the Discord server. Still, you guys are seeing where I'm going with this, yes? Before people type how I was giving out a bad way to grind, yes, there are better ways to get resources than this. One of the best features the game has is the Battle Pass. 
So, you spend 300 RT in order to earn many sorts of resources like Cosmo Harmonics, Garapon tickets and many others through earning battle cards. The other decent way to earn the non-premium currency is to read the guide on how to treasure hunt in Arcantis. Since a completed treasure run earns you 10k UC, there's also the fact that although some tuned robots may fail, unless the part was integral to a robot's core, you can actually use them in other builds to save on resources. Still, I can't just criticize the game's flaws. I enjoyed the game's somewhat timeless art style with the hand-painted textures it has. Very reminiscent of games like Mega Man Legends. Audio and music is passable. Just don't turn off the music or at the very least listen to something like a music playlist or even a podcast. There's no ambient sounds like wind blowing or birds chirping. Only the roaring thunder of gunfire and other violent clashes of metal would provide you with any sound. The newly implemented dailies and weeklies now lets free-to-play players actually access the seasonal gacha without having to use real money. And now all limp parts have three tune slots instead of how it was during old CB, where UC store bots can have one slot in a single part. And again, the custom skin community is pretty active, so there's that. Many players are usually willing to help others with PvE missions as well, and give pointers on how to play the game better. Sadly, nowadays the player base is but a fraction of how it was during release. It didn't help that my game wouldn't let me participate in battles either, for some reason. If you still wish to play after hearing all the things I've said, welcome aboard. In the off chance that someone from Cyberstep does watch this review, please, fix this bug. That's all I have to say about the game. I hope this review was worth watching and as always, have a great time.